We've just been in for a meeting with Megan Scanlon, the Environmental Minister, to put forward a legislation change. The current rules that are in place aren't enough to keep people safe. There's um, a lot of people being complacent. Well, the legislation is very important to have changed. We've had uh, three incidents in the last month or so, and uh, un unfortunately, with those incidents, the crocodiles have been euthanised, and that that is not definitely not right. Here in Queensland, we can't manage crocodiles. We can manage ourselves and we can manage how we act and behave in crocodile habitat. What we're trying to do is provide the government with authority and power to actually understand and investigate people who are recklessly using crocodile habitat, using it for social media. We don't have a problem with the crocodiles. The crocodiles are doing what they've done for the last million or so years. And some of us, very, very small number, are behaving badly in crocodile territory. By doing this, um, people will go up into crocodile territory and see signs that if they are caught doing the wrong thing, not only is there the risk that they can lose their life, but there is also a hefty fine that will come with it if you're caught. With these really strong reckless behaviours that we're seeing lately for social media, we need the department to be authorised to have their conservation officers, the rangers on the ground, to investigate, understand, take names, take photos and escalate it up so that we can understand why they're doing it and, and punish and prosecute as necessary. If we can't get the legislation changed, then more and more incidents are going to happen. But the ones that suffer the most, of course, are the crocodiles, because if they do attack people, they're at the moment they're euthanised. Which, which is not fair.